morning prayer on Thursday the 23rd of July, the commemoration of Bridget of Sweden. The Lord open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. God be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face to shine upon us. Your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O oh, let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 143 Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant. For in your sight shall no, living, shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground. Making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way that I that up. Show me the way sh I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. For I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemies and soul or destroy all the adversaries of my soul, for I am truly your servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. He told them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves and know that summer is already near. See also, when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Be on guard, so that your hearts are not weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and worries of this life, 
that the day does not catch you unexpectedly like a trap, for it will come upon all who live in the, on the face of the earth. Be alert at all times, praying that you may have the strength to escape all these things that will take place, and to stand before the Son of Man. Every day he was teaching in the temple, and at night he would go and spend the night on the Mount of Olives, as it, is, as it was called. And all the people would get up early in the morning to listen to him in the temple. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name, you are mine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. You promised, O God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You promised, O God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. Let us give thanks to the Lord for this new day, for the tasks we undertake, the meetings we shall have, and the relationships that we shall build. Send the Holy Spirit on us, that all we, that we do is done to the glory of your name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the church as it slowly comes back to some degree of normality. We give thanks for everyone involved in the cleaning, being sacristan, playing music, being part of our church life. As we open up to our community, let them see that your love is with us now and forever. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those students and pupils, teachers and lecturers, who are enjoying the beginning of a summer break. And they go back revitalised for the new term, in a spirit of hope normal life will return to these institutions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for all emergency and rescue organisations, particularly for the Ambulance Make Ready Centre in Tangmere. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as pass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love towards you, that we, loving you in all things and above all things, 
may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.